Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, we're gonna be reacting with Jessica. Guys, we're gonna be reacting to Anna did that response. Did Pastor Stanley drink the poison? Mark system verse. Guys, let's just get straight into this. Ask a person to Mr. Stanley that is according to the uh, title is the Bible true word of God and uh, he accept that he uh, he he believed that the Bible is the true word of God and he believed in Jesus so I want to ask if you have the complete faith in Jesus Christ and if yes then according to, I have one uh, question here, according to Mark in the Bible, chapter 16 and verse 18, you have in your lecture said that uh, they will, uh, about the sickness and uh, things that uh, you can uh, recover the sickness of the people. And in the same verse, it stands that if, you, if they drink any deadly things, it will not hurt them. That is the same verse. And I have here a pipe poison. And you please, and you please testify for the audience that you have the true faith in Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, sir, for your question. My brother has given me a deadly poison and he wants me to drink it. <laughs> <laughs> he wants me to make a show and tell you that it is true what is written in Mark 16. That <laughs> guys, so that cannot control it. Like, wait, first of all, the guy that brought out this poison, he's. I'm looking for a sweet word to use for him, but. Yeah, like, he's stupid. Like, why would you give someone poison to prove? But I still find it wrong that he collected the poison because it's, not meant to it's, it's you don't clearly test written God. in the Bible. Do not test the Lord your God. Do not test God. But if this pastor died, it's his <laughs> <laughs> Well, guys, let's 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 just see it. Let's see it. <sighs> that if we drink something that is poisoned, we will not die. Now, <laughs> very strange. You see, I believe in God. I have experienced the Holy Spirit and in our family, we have experienced the Holy Spirit as a reality. Amen, brother. And the Holy Spirit tells us what is going to happen. And my wife told me Thursday night, Stanley, be careful. Someone will try to poison you. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> when I, when I, when I was invited through, uh, when I was invited through Suhil Aziz Khan, that uh, Mr. Ahmed Didat Tuesday evening want to give me dinner, my wife said, Stanley, be careful. <laughs> Do you know why? Because we know about many Mus many Muslims who became Christians and were killed. Now, am I going to drink this and you will see me fall down and die? Now, listen to this. When you know the Bible, the first thing I will answer before, before really telling you what I'm going to do, I, I'm shaking a little bit, excuse me, but listen now, you see, you asked me if I believe in Jesus, and I want to tell you, I believe in Jesus as it is written in the Gospels, I don't believe in Jesus as it is written in the Quran. Because the Quran denies that Jesus is the Son of God. The Quran denies that Jesus was crucified. The Quran does not accept that Jesus was resurrected. The Quran denies that Jesus is Messiah. And I believe in the, in the way the Bible says that Jesus is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And He's equal with God.
He is kind of the first man. But now listen, my brother. Listen, my brother. Do you know? One day Satan himself approached Jesus. Yes. And the devil met Jesus in the wilderness and said, yes. Throw yourself up from a high wall and make a show and try to show the people that you are the Son of God. When Jesus was standing in front of King Herod, even King Herod said to Jesus, Now do some miracles for us so we can have a little fun. Mr. Didat, you have written a book and you have made fun of Jesus and you have said that the Bible is contradicting each other, itself because in, in, in the prophecies it says, Yes, I'm coming to say. I'm Ladies asking and him, gentlemen, I'm the word asking is him, if you want to kill me, I must have five minutes more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to tell you that in front of Herod, Jesus did not open his mouth according to the scripture. And Jesus did not make a show of the miracles. And when you gave me this question today, I recognize the devil in you, and I'm not going to obey the devil. I'm not going to make a show. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to tell all the others that Jesus, he wants to heal. He does not want to cause sickness. He will give life. He don't want to kill people by alcohol and drugs. It's the devil who wants to cause damage. And Jesus, he wants to give blessing. Now I have become a little too excited. I think I must sit down. If you regard to the poison story, the young man had a just question. He was justified in asking a just question. It was a matter of faith. You have faith, then I want proof. And Jesus Christ, if it was him, in the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 16, the ending verses, verse 17, you read it. You read it that what you are supposed to do. But you know in this Bible here, that verse is not here. Pastor, that verse 9 to, 9 to 20 verses of Mark are not here. I don't know if anybody here, you young man, can you read English? No, you can't. <laughs> Pastor, would you like to help me? I said, Look, in this Bible here, produced by the Christians, 32 scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 cooperating denominations of Christendom, they have thrown it out as a fabrication. Verses 9 to 20 are thrown out, they are not here, sir, in this Bible. But of course, as I told you last night, that now they have reintroduced it in this one. They look alike, but they took it out here and they put it back. You know why? This is because of certain individuals and church denominations. They, they, they terrified them. That verse, that verse, that verse, it says, And these signs shall follow them that believe. If you believe in Jesus, these are the signs that will follow. In my name shall they cast out devils. And the pastor said, you got the devil. You are the devil. Telling the young question, the timid young man, you know, he was terrified to articulate his question. And now, with all the power at his command, with the mic system behind him, he said, you are a devil. I recognize the devil in you, and I'm not going to obey the devil. I'm not going to make a show. Why so serious? That poor man is shivering in his pants, you know, and now you have got the power, God had given it to you. You should cast out the devil, heal the man. Instead of terrifying him into death, heal the man. You are supposed to, number one, cast out devils, and they shall speak new tongues. The professor does it beautifully in Urdu. I say, what about Zulu? What about Zulu? 
Can you speak Zulu, sir? Ninga zindi ngoguti, sino Abrahama ubaba wetu. Uti kumvusela go Abrahama, abandona gula macho. Talking about tongues, tongues means speaking different languages. For every one language, for every one language that the pastor can speak, I'll give him three foreign languages for every one he speaks. And that is without the help of any Holy Ghost, no Holy Ghost. I'll do it on my own God-given computer. Right. They shall speak new tongues. They shall take up serpents, snakes. We're going to look for serpents in Scandinavia. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. If you have belief, if you have faith. So that young man was trying to test his faith. Instead, he loses his temper. He's lost his faith with it. Faith also goes with it. Kashata, Lama Ashanda de Bosoya. Made de Bosi Plandea, de Bosum Bolande de Beketa la Monta. Mosha Resi Kamama Bahotore, say another Mahasset. famous preacher whose faith centered on a passage in the Bible promising protection from snakes. A rattlesnake took his life. Matt Wolford, a renowned Pentecostal serpent handler, died after suffering a bite from one of the snakes that he used to show his devotion to God. Guys, we are done with this video. And what do you think about this? First thing, first thing I'll say is the fact that they are all misquoting what it actually means. Given from the time that the guy gave asked that question and gave the poison, if I were to be the pastor. I wouldn't collect the poison first. Okay, let me say for my part, I stand to be corrected. For my part, I feel the pastor was actually wrong. He kind of got upset. Yes, it was quite obvious. But then I feel he was meant to remain calm. Now, those people picking up snakes, they were just playing with their lives. <laughs> <laughs> because that is not what, I feel that's not what Jesus Christ meant. Yes. Like, you take something and to be there's something i always say that what i don't know won't kill me yes i feel like it kind of means the same thing <laughs> for you then okay they are giving you what you are collecting you want to drink it why are you testing god like it's very very stupid hey. it says in the bible thou shalt not test the lord your god and i feel if you have read the bible like the whole not you just picking this verse and saying this is what you have like they're acting based on they are ignorant and they are being stupid, if I'll be honest. Because it was clearly written in the Bible, Thou shalt not test even Jesus. Imagine. Okay, let's say you pop, you guys believe that Jesus was a prophet. He was one of the greatest prophets that ever lived. When the devil tempted him, he clearly told the devil, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord your God. And you, being a pastor, 
want to show like, want to show that the devil, the devil literally came to jesus and told him oh, to do God. things and he said thou shalt not some people are funny you. but then you someone <laughs> is coming to give you because they are collecting <laughs> and then play. but guys to be honest like it's 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 clear stupidity for you to do that i am thing. disappointed you see there's there is there's different when you are giving the poison and you take it unknowingly see, see yeah, i i believe that that kind of thing that happened to different pastors and it came out alive even when it does. It, like god is going to protect you and that is a fact god is going to protect you and that is kind of science and wonder maybe if he was giving that poison as water and he didn't know. he didn't know and he takes it, it is different. it's different that you knowing that this is going to kill you and you want to tempt god okay let's see if it's going to go against the spirit of him not doing like when they said no one should pray if you pray i'm going to go i would enter the lion's den mm. you see he i think it's somewhere no, daniel. daniel you see daniel still prayed and even if he was put into the lion's den god actually shot the mouth of the lion you see that kind of thing no you trying to tempt God, the way those people were playing with their life, why they playing with snakes, like they were just, people. they were just acting stupid, because, I don't know the Holy Ghost that, or the Bible they are reading, it's not see, the same thing with the one I'm reading. Let me tell you something. I have this cousin, he's a cousin, mm -hmm. he's a pastor, yeah, so one time, when he was in school, he was invited for a program, so he had to stay with, he had to literally rent a place there for months so he was staying there before the program came up because he has been praying with them so he can't stay in the hotel because it's very expensive this particular lady that was staying with the landlady i think because she was living close next door she didn't like him and they uh, all the because they were guys so she usually cooks for them she bring the food i think they all would pay or something like that so she was literally giving my uncle I mean my cousin i don't know i can't explain what she was literally giving him food, not knowing that every single food she was giving to him was poisoned. But then he eats it, he sleeps, he wakes up fresh. She will hear him praying in the night. He wakes up fresh, comes out, does everything. Mm -hmm. When he was about to leave, she herself walked up to him and said, What is inside you? She was asking him, like, All the food you've been eating since day one, all of them, nothing happened to you. What's this? Like, she didn't understand. What is it? Are you like, are you sure that me? Are you a woman? Now you see, that is, he didn't know. He yeah. didn't know. If he had known, and she tried to do a day show, day she, <laughs> that one is different. But he didn't know. You get. But then this one, I, I was very, very surprised. It's also written in Psalms. Like, it's also written in Psalms that God will guide you and pass you through your. I think in Psalm 22, verse 6. Yes. It's also written there that even in the shadow of death, the Lord will be by you, even if you have to. I'm not really good with the Bible anymore, but I, I know something, <laughs> something like that was written in Psalm 22 verse 6. I wish I can go through it, but you can try to check it. Something like that was written, not you trying to tempt God. Like, it's, it's totally wrong. It's against Christianity. Yes. So, guys, stay sure to like, share, subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time, guys. Peace.